doing big things, news. Doing big things. I want to do small things. Like what? What's a small thing? Every we'll see. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Yay! <laughs> Submitted by Jomalian Sand. Sand? Sand. Sand. I, I like say sand. I. That's that's the better way of saying sand. Oh, I like that. That's someone that's been to Sand. Bali. I have not been to Bali. <laughs> Sand. Maybe Bali in Indonesia. <laughs> they have sand there. Yeah, but she's thinking about the beaches. Somebody who's been to Bali. <laughs> sand. Bali sand. Okay. YouTuber Lily Singh will host a new NBC late night show. This blew my mind. I know. This oh, so it's real. Yes. Crazy. Because I saw her photo. This came out of nowhere. Nowhere. I mean, not for her, I bet. Right. I, I mean, it's been like I three years. <laughs> yeah. Is she replacing a late night host or okay? Yeah, she's replacing Carson Daly. Thank God. For the 1.35 a.m. <laughs> talk show. So what? Late, late, That's late, late. so late. late. I never liked Carson wow. Daly. I've never seen 1 a.m. I didn't even know Carson Daly had a late night show. Yeah, yeah me neither. This has got to be the biggest social media to traditional media crossover. I think. Yeah. Yes. I can't think of another one. Oh, well, what about Justin Bieber? What? He was not was a YouTuber, super, though. But he's not like a YouTuber yeah. YouTuber. He was a YouTuber. He was, he was a huge YouTuber. Yeah. That's oh, how he got big it? first. I mean, he, 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 he was, but he didn't go to the invasion, the yeah. celebration of So he was so early on, I wouldn't even call him a YouTuber. If you never heard dumb, Freestyle backstage, you didn't go to a YouTube event. But he wasn't about the Asian crowd, but he but had his, a crowd. But his built. original yeah. uh, biggest influence was Passion. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. Jeremy yeah. Passion? If you yeah. saw his bio shit, it was That's his right. favorite artist. He's the second biggest cross. She's the second biggest crossover there. Oh, you took it back. <laughs> so Donald Glover. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, okay, we're he's just the, getting he's loaded. He's the third. Let's just stop he's counting. He's the third. We don't know what we're he's, talking about. But he does have traditional background, but he used YouTube as a platform to get more eyes on him. What about Tori Kelly? Tori oh, Kelly. Tori Kelly. Okay, we're done. She's the, he's, <laughs> she's the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> So she fucking won like two Kelly. Grammys, dude, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to tell you. She's the fourth biggest one I've seen. <laughs> and then Anderson Pack. Oh, Anderson, Anderson Pack. 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 <laughs> uh, the fifth one. I'm telling you guys. Love Joy. <laughs> I'm telling you guys the fifth one that I've seen so far. Just a team internet <laughs> roll call. <Yeah. laughs> I know, right? Sorry, Lily Singh, you're not that special anymore. <laughs> but basically, when I saw this though, like I got a little skeptical. Not about her, but I feel like <laughs> sometimes. Because that show is already failing, and it's been failing for a while, and that slot is really hard. Like the late, 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 late. I hope they're not setting her up to fail. That would be sucky. Yeah. Like it's a consolation prize. Exactly, yeah. so that's, that's. It's a 1 a.m. show. <clears throat> that's what I'm hoping it's not, and on top of that, they also know that her fan base is like the age of like fucking five to like 10. That's what I was saying. So, how are I they gonna be not, up that late? Exactly, so yeah. I hope they're not setting her up to fail. So, that's the part where I get a little bit skeptical. You know, because yeah. if they wanted her to succeed, they want to put her on a 2 a.m. time slot when they know her demographic. Yeah. So it's a little weird. It'd be right. at 6 a.m. right before school, elementary school. 3 p.m. But she school. has clout and it sounds dope. It it's does amazing. sound dope. But that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying I don't want this to be a setup for her failure. Because we don't know what the Hollywood intentions are. Yeah, I don't know if it's 5 to 10, but I do think it's more around like high school age. Her, her mm. fan base. Oh, yeah. grew up? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, because I remember when she had like 100,000 subs. Whoa. Yeah, that was like... When I still lived in Alhambra. Oh, that was a long time. <laughs> Just like down the street. <laughs> That was like a random side note. We know his history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah. Al Hamlet. Da, 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 da. Yep. My thing is, I think they are like high school age, but also nobody has cable. So oh, yeah. I'm nervous that, yeah, I don't know what the Hollywood intentions are, but like if nobody has cable and it's at two. Yeah, who watches TV? Dude, no one. Dude, fucking I hope they stream TV, it. All right? Because if they stream it, then her fans would watch it and then we'll, we'll you know, be like, oh, a YouTuber made it. Right, but then like when they stream it and then it's on the YouTube homepage, it's it's already too late to get the views. And so like the networks will be like, oh, no one's tuning into this. And then they'll either cancel it because they're like, oh, we didn't know that it has the YouTube push. Cause like once it goes on YouTube, people will watch it. Yeah. Cause that's where her fans are. Yep. Yeah. But I don't know like if they're gonna stay up or get uh, NBC to watch it. Yeah, because the interesting yeah. thing is, like, I, I never thought of her to be somebody who would do late night talk show stuff, specifically because I saw her on this clip with um, uh, Trevor Noah. Oh. And then she came on there and she spoke and she kind of bombed. Like, I was like kind of shocked because I think like she was trying to make jokes to an adult, an adult audience, and then crickets. Right. So I was like, oh shit. So maybe the late night show it'll be she'll, she'll have, have a more, like artistic yeah. freedom yeah. where she could. 
cater to her own jokes and maybe to her own audience. Well, yeah, she did mention right. that her show would be pretty much her YouTube channel. Like, she's gonna do oh. sketches and... Oh, really? Oh, cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Whoa. And, like, have guests and stuff. That's what she was saying. I'm interested to see. So, the sh slot that she's replacing, it used to be called Last Call with Carson Daly, and it ran for 17 years. What? Yeah, and I had and never no heard knew. about it. I didn't know. Oh my god. I guess yeah. there's still people watching. I feel like it's for drunk rednecks or trailer park <laughs> trash that are watching at 1.30 a.m. Like, who's watching regular cable TV at 1.30 a.m.? Well, some people leave it on to go to sleep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, too, you know what? As I found background out. noise. Fellsmere, Florida, a lot of people watch TV. Oh, for real? Yeah. We have cable. Yeah, but we don't watch it at 1.30 a.m. But there's a lot of places where people still watch a lot of TV. So we, we watch yeah. TV, but 1.30 a.m. TV? That's because you guys are responsible. It's TV. really weird. No, no, well, if we want to stay up, we'd watch an actual TV show mm. on a streaming platform, you know? Mm. 1.30 a.m. TV? You're drunk, you're regretting something you just did, <laughs> you have a knife to your wrist. Whoa! You know I mean, it's, it's, I got dark. I wonder no, you're shaving the hairs off. Yeah, come on now, people. <laughs> Jesus. But I'm, I'm thinking about 50 plus, who's, who's kind of, they're comfortable with watching TV and that's what they like to do. And then they might browse around Netflix from time to time, but they're used to just having some programming. But I used to watch like late night talk shows all the time, like even like that Craig Ferguson dude, I used to listen to his shit all the time. So yeah. maybe it's still popping, like who knows? You know what might happen? Cause like Jimmy Fallon and stuff, they, they put those clips on YouTube all the oh, time. Oh yeah, it might and be. And somehow it's well always YouTube. trending. Always. Yeah. Always trending. Always. It might do well on YouTube. So that's, that's that might be their strategy. They might be switching stuff up, you know? Yeah. So, Hopefully, so yeah. then like what David was saying, they don't set her up for- Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't get that slot, dude. I would picture you doing that really- I know! <laughs> no, legit, like I, when, I, when I thought that, I thought you would better suit that because you actually did your own version of a mini talk show thing. <laughs> it's so janky in my living room. It was janky as fuck, by You were the first person to point it out. <laughs> Everyone was so nice, but David walked in, he was like, this is trash. <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> it was so funny though. She would have like this little things like duct tape all hanging around. Cause it looks really great on camera, right? But we're in the back seat. I came in, I was like, dude, this girl's fucking ghetto, dude. <laughs> I was like, she's actually damn, kinda dope. You make it work. <laughs> yeah. And he wasn't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you would have never known, but it was tight though. No, that's tight. So Lily sings show will be called A Little Late with Lily Sing. Which is so cute. Yeah. I, I like love it. Ooh, that's not so what girls want to hear though, right? It's like, I'm a little late. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, so it will launch in September. And yeah, so they're saying that she is the only female to currently host a late night talk show. Was there ever a female talk show late night host? Yeah, there was. There's a lot of daytime, Ellen and- Daytime, yeah, but late night. Late night, late night. Yeah. who? It's not memorable. So not only is she a, a, the first YouTuber, first woman too, maybe. Double whammy. Yeah. To be, well, Grace went linear, but that was a daytime show, right? Grace Helbig? Yeah. Yeah, her shit yeah. bombed like a motherfucker. I don't even know what her show failure, was. Dude. dude, that's why I'm like, guys, be nice to us all uh, internet people because, yeah, maybe they don't like us. I don't know if they do it on purpose. Yeah, maybe they, they, they just don't know how to strategize. Yeah. They strategize the right. correct way to yeah. do it. Joan right. Rivers was one. In the 80s. Oh, yeah. Joan Rivers. The late show was Joan Rivers. She was the first woman to host the late night Network that, television. Talk that makes show. sense. And during the time when Grace had her shit, it was super green, super super. Right. Green, yeah. Right? Yeah. So times are a little different now. TV didn't even have their own shit figured out, and now they're plugging in like a new variable too. I feel like Grace had a really high probability of crossover though. What was Grace's show? I never heard of it. I don't remember because I never got to watch it because it tanked that fast. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was, a, it was, a, it kind of, so like every time something fails when a YouTuber does it, they automatically think, all these other people are gonna fail. But it's like, man, there's millions of people right. on the platform with different mm -hmm. talents and skills. One of these articles when I was researching about Lily Singh, there was this radio show that had, they made an article about it, and while they were talking about it, they were saying like, yeah, so she's a YouTuber, but don't, they were pretty much saying like, because she's a YouTuber, like, don't hold that against her. She's wow. actually really great My in other bones. things. I know, I'm like, damn. I hate that. We get so much disrespect for being yeah. YouTubers. Well, when we all first started, we didn't want to be YouTubers. We just use it as a way to go somewhere do else. things. Yeah. Yeah. But people actually want to be a YouTuber now. They, it's just a title. Do kids write that shit? They go, what do you want to be when you YouTuber? grow up? A YouTuber. I'm like, dude, that's a fucking career choice, son. No. It is. At Isaac's school, every time we go for any of his events and stuff, they're like, oh, 
<gasps> there's Isaac's parents, there's Isaac's parents, he's a YouTuber. And I'm like, wow. whoa, that's weird. Like, it was so cute because this little girl, she looked like she was in third grade or something. She came up to us and she's like, hi, Tiffany. And Casey was right behind me. She's like, and whatever, I forgot your name. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> cute. But no, but yeah, like they just see us like, you know, being a YouTuber is a big deal. That blowjob story you told on TK News. <laughs> It was so inspiring. I would do it just like you. I know. When she came up to me, I'm like, why is she watching our stuff? Isaac's not allowed to watch our stuff. But he tells me that some of his friends watch it, and I'm like, fuck. Don't. Don't think about us. You're making him so cool. Dude, Isaac's gonna get so much pussy. Yo. Dude, it's gonna be He's gonna be like, thank you for it. setting me up, mom. Thank you so much. I That's know, why he's such a good dude. kid. Well, they see him as a YouTuber, too. Yeah. Because he's on... on all the video. Dude, That's I can't true. wait for your kid to have some straight damn teeth, man. He's almost getting there. <laughs> Thank God, dude. You know the wire? It's like poking him behind, which means like his teeth are getting straighter because oh, it's poking. But it hurts oh, though. It hurts yeah. when he gets caught back there. No more blender blades? Dude, thank <laughs> God. I was waiting for that day, dude. Isaac's teeth were crazy. I know. I know. Did you have crazy teeth when you were young? No. Those were really crazy teeth. <laughs> Dude, Even his dad, his dad has never had braces. I like crazy teeth. Dude, his teeth look like they're having a fucking, like, a riot inside his mouth, man. They look like two West Side signs. <laughs> it was like this. <laughs> it was like every It was like this. Yeah, they were like this. Yeah. They're like trying to argue with each other, so they're just like turning to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen two teeth go in like this. The two yeah. front teeth. Like two seats like, on a train? Yeah. yeah. What are you guys saying? And then the brackets. So they put the brackets on, right? And they were like touching. And the brackets were touching. But I can't wait. Cause number one, Isaac's a really handsome boy. So imagine when the teeth are fixed. I know. Fucking pussy game a lot. He wants to get contacts now. He doesn't contacts. Wear, he doesn't want to wear glasses. And he's romantic. He is hella romantic. Is he gonna get LASIKs? That's scary. Oh, I mean, he, has he has to wait till he's older. Oh, yeah. okay. But you know what, dude, Isaac? Glasses are kind of cute on him. Yeah, he does look cute. They actually look really good on him. Yeah. So I don't know, bro. You may not need it. Man, I can't wait. Ugh.